I will begin my speech in 3, 2, 1. The most important effect of this punishment is we want to deterrent uh, effect for this criminal. The goal is to make regret and they do not want to regret what they already did. As we know, corruption, corruption has become a commonplace and even natural among the people. Ladies and gentlemen, and in Indonesia, there are so many cases that ex corruptor who have freed from the prisons do their bad habit again like the corruptor or scum someone who more needed. The main causes of corruption are the public ethic and moral greedy official law enforcement in Indonesia which can still be bridled like penalty for corruptor and corruption which is seem to be become a culture. And ladies and gentlemen, corruption which is considered to be increasingly in trade makes people do not hesitate to do this and punishment for corruptor who are considered like will have no deterrent effect of the perpetrators. So, that people are not afraid to commit corruption, therefore we need punishment that can be create a different effect on the corruption that occurs in society, and the improvement is the best way. And ladies and gentlemen, why we, I, why we, we agree with this motion? Because I will give a reason, two reasons, two strong reasons why this kind of punishment is fundamental to provide a corruption uh, to provide a different effect for the corruption to do not regret and do again what they did. Number one, corruption will be more afraid of poverty than the fear of being in presence. The crime of corruption is the crime that must be eradicated in an extraordinary way normal because corruption has afflicted the people, hampered everything, development, both physical and non-physical development. Basically, the trigger factor someone commits a criminal act of corruption is one of the which because of greed and being chased by the perpetrators of criminal act of corruption. It's well, and in fact, the perpetrators, the perpetrators of corruption are a of poverty. If the leader opposition means that the, 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 the imperfection of corruption violates a person's human right, we extremely do not agree with that, because in fact, in the concept in the cost of improvising uh, the corruption is uh, to taking back asset from the corruption is not an act that violates people's human rights many because the asset is resulting from corruption and which is the asset obtained from the public money. Number two, provide a deterrent effect for people who have the potential to do this criminal act. We need that other people, that other potential corruptor see this is wrong and this nation cannot be corruption. Corrupted. Money is not always the problem we use as rationally, but also concern ethical and moral principle and contents. Just verdict that improvising improvised culture can be referred to as a verdict because we believe that the just is really considering the realities of life in people who have lost their human right. Such a right to live in uh, prosperity or the right to be free from poverty all of which cannot be separated from the corrupt behavior. The verdict handed down by the judge who has the sustains of improvising corruption is the progressive step in eradicating of combating corruption in Indonesia. This verdict becomes special because of the common mistake of Indonesian people, especially law enforcement official law, bringing uh, from police uh, officials to the judge who treat corruption in a special way. Therefore, if we think that social punishment is enough, so what if uh, the, the, the cartel or the ex or the, uh, or the people who have punishment to do this criminal act who get, get, a, get a social punishment, but they still lie on their money? So our team is agreeing with this case that improvising corruption is the best way to provide a deterrent punishment for the corruptor, ex corruptor and for the people who have potential to do this kind of criminal act. And I'm extremely proud to talk to as a closing government. Thank you. I will start my speech in 3, 2, 1. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the government whip of the house. From all of the speech of each debater, I will try to conclude all of the points of our arguments as the closing government. So our question today is this house will impoverish corruptors. Impoverishment is the state or fact of being extremely poor. As a neighborhood, improvement is sometimes obvious from its many abundant buildings. In other words, corruptors' impoverishment is an alternative punishment towards the corruption case in Indonesia's law enforcement. What is the most important thing or point of our argument? First, is the justice.
identification of the corruptors that spend millions of rupees of public's money. It should be beneficial for public such as infrastructure, education, social, etc. or for simple things like poor, uh, poor people and so on. And then uh, it should be beneficial for the public. So we give the most efficient solution to take up characters regardless from the family or social life. So here is our point. First, a deterrent effect for all the characters and not infrequently the results of corruption has been used to commit other criminal acts of money laundering which is pretending crime is corruption. But ultimately, we just give the mecha mechanism that more rate uh, that more relates to the status quo when the deputy leader of the opposition said that improvement uh, impoverished computers means that you made them to be impoverished person, low class person. Now that now government need to, need to take care of them. Well, that's the point. We want to back to our main point of the argument that we are going to give the apparently different feeling for the corruptors because they will think about their family, they will think about their children or even parents or even though they still don't have the family, they will think about their own self, their, their own life, their whole life or the aspect in their life. And then just keep in mind that they uh, causes the poverty of the state. The impact that they give is not for one people only but it's for all of the state. So poor become more poor, uh, uh, I mean poor people become more poor and then no education more people uh, become more no education people. So when, even though we improve them, it doesn't mean that it gives harm for the state just because we need to give them, to give them more food or place to live. But so in the status quo, we will, uh, we will still get the good more than harm we still, uh, with this motion. And then what I get from the debate, debaters before opening government and opening opposition is all we propose is still being uh, is still bring the good more than harm tackling the corruptors into the poverty to give a permanent deterrent. If we talk about human rights, it will be quite because when we t uh, because what we take from the corruptors is not is not their own property, but it's about. Uh, our public amount of money that has been taken by the corruptors. So that is what we want to take. Because it is our own, not theirs. So, uh, what is the conclusion of the, the outline of our main point, or uh, main point argument and uh, closing government? First, we give a real deterrent for the corruptors, which is enjoying a profit from the criminality. And then the second is we provide a sense of uh, re reluctant for people who have a potential to commit the corruption itself. So, with all of the reasons we have delivered, we strongly agree with the motion that this house will impoverish corruptors. We are very proud to propose. I am very proud to speak as the government.